Okay, so, um, you've been grappling with one of the most difficult uh, thinkers that you're going to engage with in this course. Um, Kierkegaard and his sickness unto death. And um, we've already engaged with this very dizzying passage right at the be beginning. A human being is spirit, but what is spirit? Spirit is the self, but it, what is the self? A relation that relates itself to itself, or is the relations relating itself to itself in the relation? The self is not the relation, but the relations relating to that, to that, to that, right? Um, in the videos, I suggested that just about everything that Kierkegaard wants to claim is already in that passage, which is a bit of a parody of Hegel's language. But nonetheless, it's all right there in that passage. The human being is that it cares and basically despair is that sickness of spirit, right, that affects the human being in a way that breaks down that relation that relates itself to itself and the relation, right? So what Kierkegaard is talking about here is what we would decidedly call an existential problem. This is something that has to do with how we relate to ourselves in our situation, and it's fundamental. Right? It's basic to the human condition. So as Roderick mentions, that this is, this is why a psychologist can't help you with despair. Right? It's, you can't just go and say, I'm in despair. It fix me. This is why when you're in despair, people telling you to like get over it or something along those lines, it doesn't quite work that way because this is something fundamental to your basic disposition. All right. So, well, your discussion forum reads, in Kierkegaard's Sickness Unto Death, we encounter the problem of despair, not as an external problem, but rather one that originates in our very condition. It's an existential problem. All right. So the first part of this discussion forum is getting clear on what Kierkegaard means by despair. Right. And there are three kinds, well, two proper kinds and one not quite yet kind of despair, the despair that doesn't know it's despair. Right. The other two kinds of despair and right, basically have you disposing yourself to yourself in your situation in a way that tells you that you, your life is no good. Now, Kierkegaard holds that the faculty of reason can't be our salvation, right, in the face of this problem. Reason can't help us. Reason's very good at some things, but with regard to despair and the kind of existential problems that Kierkegaard discusses, including anxiety as well, but nonetheless, in this particular text, despair, reason can't help you. This is where reason falls short, and what is needed in order to give our lives meaning is a leap of faith. And given this dialectic, right, the, here's your problem, your problem is despair, the solution to your problem is faith, effectively despair, as a rejection of faith becomes sin. Right, as we discussed in the video. Now, what this question asks you to engage with is the nature of despair as part of our very condition, and Kierkegaard's turning away from reason as the panacea, or the cure-all, as traditional philosophy, every philosopher that we've engaged with so far, tells us that it should be. Kierkegaard doesn't think so. So the question at work here is, why would Kierkegaard reject the traditional rational panacea in favor of faith? What is it that faith does that reason can't do? Right. So, um, I hope you enjoy this, this discussion topic. I, I really look forward to reading your responses. Kierkegaard can be difficult, um, but what I'm asking of you, even though it's a little difficult, is something that you should be able to meet the challenge of, right? So um, I try not to ask you to do anything that I don't think you can do in these classes. And I think, I think you can do this, right? And I think it's important that we all engage with these kinds of questions because if Kierkegaard is right, 
you're all in a situation where you have to, in a sense, wrap your mind around and, in fact, wrap your spirit around these kinds of problems. Right? Okay, so I hope you enjoy this one.